Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the North Athletic Complex for today's matchup between the Duquesne Dukes and the Robert Morris University Colonials. The first club sports live event of the 2022-2023 academic year and our first soccer live matchup here today. It's a back-to-back. -back. we got the men's coming up here first at 1 o'clock and then the women's at 3 o'clock right after this. I'm Kaden McCrory. Alongside me, we have a new member of the team. I'm going to let him go ahead and introduce himself. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Garrett Walker, and uh, really excited to uh, be here and kick off the, the season with the uh, soccer game. So we'll be kicking off here in, in just a few minutes. Soccer features a few of the club sports athletes you may remember from beforehand, including Nick Catanzaro, person who played his volleyball, is a big member of the club sports in general, and he's one of the starters here for RMU today, the junior that plays outside mid. Also, Andrew Komarowski, a defenseman from the D3 hockey team, is also on the team wearing number 12. He's an outside back, and then also Mason Miller, a junior center mid, also on the Division Three club hockey team. So a couple familiar faces walking around the field here today. It's Duquesne and RMU about to get set here from midfield. It looks like it'll be Duquesne's ball here to start. And here we go, tip off here, led to number 10, Ante Brevera. Going wide as, Ar as Duquesne backs up in their defensive zone. Along the side here, as Duquesne works their way up the field. Cross kick, intercepted by RMU. As RMU plays it back, Duquesne applying heavy pressure here as the ball keeps scattering around between both teams. A couple players collide as RMU gains possession of the ball. Playing back as RMU slowly makes their way up the field, looking for somewhere to go. Throws it down. Good head kick from Duquesne as they regain possession of the ball here. Duquesne throwing it all the way back towards their keeper. Along the side, intercepted by number 13, Nick Catanzaro. RMU playing the ball back here. All the way back to the keeper. The, cap er, uh, the captain, number 31, Connor Dalton. The senior, as the ball works its way out of bounds, it'll be a throw in for RMU. Down the field it goes. Catanzaro, intercepted by Duquesne. As they try to clear the zone, it ends up hitting one of the players on the bench. Throw in here from number eight, Bryce Kirk. Through the middle, hits off a couple heads, as now it's a loose ball. Picked up by number 12, Komorowski, and then the keeper is going to get that good catch there. It'll be Duquesne ball. Duquesne, the kick from the keeper, number 33, Matt Potick. RMU is going to get possession with a head kick there. A couple bodies fighting for the ball. Looks like it's going to go Duquesne's way. Duquesne now storming up the field. A kick goes long here off the head Ooh. and a good hand there by the keeper. It's a nice save there. We'll have a corner kick coming up for uh, Duquesne. Looks five or six guys Duquesne are coming in. Let's see how this hand's going to or this kick's going to go here. A lot of bodies in front of that cage. Pretty deadly tactic here for nice Duquesne. Loft. Ahead there, and that's going to work its way behind the, key, the cage, and it'll be Robert Morris's ball. As the keeper collects it, works his way back into the crease to get action going here yet again for the Colonials. So far, 0-0. Zero, zero. Through the first couple minutes here at the North Athletic Complex between the Duquesne Dukes and the Robert Morris University Colonials. The kick. A nice boot from the keeper. As they try to go for a head there, and the ref's going to award the ball to Duquesne, it looks like. Duquesne is going to throw this one in from about a little outside midfield. That's the kick. Very deep kick towards the cage, and it's going to go just wide. Duquesne had a good chance there and couldn't capitalize. A couple bodies there trying to get that loose ball just a little bit outside. Go, go, go. 
as number 12, Komorowski, bringing it up to number four, Jimmy Burray. Number four with a nice pass in the middle. Loose ball up in the air. Duquesne's going to gain possession now. A shot, and that's going to bounce its way out of play. Robert Morris ball. Back to the keeper, Connor Dalton. And he's going to kick this one away as RMU gains possession in midfield here. A good kick. A great header there from number 11, Mason Miller. Loose ball. Duquesne gets that one back and storms down the field. Met by a couple RMU players. Out wide it goes towards the middle. As number 19 from RMU tangles up with a Duquesne player. Ball bouncing around at midfield. No one seems to be gaining good possession of the ball. As number four, Rudy Nichols storms in. Pass to number 10 as RMU is just going to kick that one out. And our Duquesne had a really good look there. Duquesne putting on a lot of pressure on RMU. Seem to be struggling to get it out of our uh, defensive zone here. The throw in from Duquesne. From the far side, looking for somewhere to go. RMU playing some good defense here. Challenging along the line. As RMU, I believe, has the ball here as they're going to make their way up the field. Good kick here, but number 27 of Duquesne was right there to read that one. Towards midfield, RMU storming down the other way. It's number 11, Mason Miller. Passes it along. Playing along the line. It's number 10 and number 11 there for RMU. We're close to the ball there. And it'll be RMU ball off a throw-in towards the Duquesne bench. Got Bryce throwing it into the middle here. RMU goes to the inside. A little congested in the middle here. Duquesne tries to clear. RMU bringing it back. Pushing it to the outside and moving forward. Ball goes up to the outside to number four. This is a good cross. It's going to be RMU ball for a corner kick. First corner kick of the game for the Colonials, and we'll see who takes it. It'll be number eight, Bryce Kirk, the sophomore, going for the corner kick. Okay. RMU having about okay. five, six guys in the middle of the field here. Duquesne putting almost everyone back to try to defend this one. The closest chance for the Colonials as Bryce Kirk with the corner kick. Sets up, fires, nice. bunch of headers there. Duquesne trying to play at the midfield. RMU has it. Shot goes just wide, and the keeper picks it up for Duquesne. Keeper for Duquesne looking to move the ball forward. RMU putting on some pressure there for the first time in a few minutes. Keeper hunts it out middle. It's going to be Duquesne's ball. They hit off the head of Damon Nelson, I believe. So right towards the Robert Morris bench. As Duquesne, as they, as they look for the ball, it looks like it almost uh, exited the, the woods outside the, uh, the field. Duquesne storming down. Cross kick. Almost a good header there by number 20 of RMU. RMU gains possession, puts it right back in Duquesne. Shot and goes in. Duquesne strikes first. And that was, I believe, number nine, Aaron Brown. The one they call AB is Duquesne takes this one up 1-0. One That was a nice setup there by Duquesne, moving the ball to the middle, getting a nice shot off. Hopefully RMU can bounce back here and put some more pressure on offensively. Setting here at midfield. A good setup from the Duquesne Dukes. It's now number 10, Colin Gorney is going to send this one off as the ref gives the signal. 1-0 Duquesne here to start things off. RMU playing with a little bit of urgency now as that one just goes off the head of number 13, Catanzaro and it'll be a Duquesne throw-in from their own bench. They throw in there, pressured hard by RMU. A couple bodies colliding there. Ball leads into RMU at midfield. Duquesne intercepts it again. RMU comes back with a kick. Playing it wide, away from danger. RMU taking their time. As the defender here is just gonna take it up himself. It's Komorowski. Down low, working the lines number four. 
Jimmy Burhe. Intercepted by Duquesne. Army right there in the middle, take it right back to the side. Cross kick, no one there at home for RMU as the keeper for Duquesne, just gonna pick that one up. Good to see some offensive pressure again from RMU. It's definitely playing with a sense of urgency here. Keeper boots it mid. Bryce tries to, a little collision there. Ball bouncing around here towards midfield as Duquesne's gonna come out of it and they got numbers coming the other way. Working the outside, pulling back, waiting for some reinforcements. Back towards midfield as Duquesne's gonna back up as RMU is playing with a big sense of urgency now down one nothing. Towards the line, playing it close there towards the RMU bench. RMU's gonna intercept that one. And it's gonna hit off a couple bodies and I believe that's gonna be an RMU throw in. And it will be. Army playing some solid defense. They're trying not to give up midfield. Ends up working in their favor here. A long hand pass here, and that one's gonna bounce off of the bleachers, almost into the woods there, Garrett. Yeah, I think that's the second time now the ball's gone into the woods there. We got Bryce Kirk throw throwing from the left sideline. Contested ball. Duquesne moves it up. Army trying to attack here. Ball staying in the air for a while now. See three headers back to back. Duquesne moving the ball forward. Hits off a couple bodies. They're almost looking like a volleyball match there for a second. Volleyball's not for a couple more months here, guys. I know Nick Catanzar, one of the star volleyball players, was involved in that a little bit. As trying to, you're trying to get some early practice in there. Catanzaro, Komorowski leaves it off for number four. Komorowski nice working three. in as a good play there by number 27 in red. To knock that ball away. And that's going to be an RMU throw in from the, from the right corner. It looks like it'll be Komorowski to throw this one in. Oh, and he's going to leave it for number eight, Bryce Kirk again. The sophomore took the first corner kick. As Bryce along the fence here with a beautiful throw in towards the net, knocked away by the Duquesne. Right there is Komorowski. Over to the side to Kirk. Through the middle, Duquesne right there to read it. It's now the other way, it's a one-on-one -on -one here between number 20, oh. number eight, and a good play there by number 20 in blue, Andrew Seriello. Cross kick there, and that one's gonna go outside. I believe that's going to be a Duquesne throw in. Duquesne throwing it back, regrouping a little bit. Ball in the air again. RMU putting on pressure here. Bryce Kaminsky right there, number two in blue, applying the pressure. He's going to throw that one towards the keeper, and he's going to swallow that one up and hold as Duquesne resets. Taking his time here as his troops make his way up the field. Nice left kick there. Good header by number nine in blue, Danny ne Damon Nelson. And that one's going to go out of play as we get a stoppage here. 1-0 Duquesne so far in the first soccer match for the season for the Colonials and the first soccer broadcast here on RMU TV Rack Sports. Duquesne moving the ball back, regrouping again. Number 19 with the ball, bringing it back to the keeper. Keeper bringing it out. RMU putting on pressure here, trying to get back into this game. Big kick up the right sideline. And that uh, RMU keeper is gonna gonna gather that one as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, absolutely no one down there, just out of the reach of Duquesne, as he's as the keeper is just gonna make his way down to his own net here. No, not wasting a lot of time. Settles the ball down, looks for his team to be ready here. And the kick goes across midfield, off the head there of number two Kamiski. Duquesne now punting it around with their head. Off to the side, Duquesne works midfield, intercepted by number 21 and number 13 in the blue. It's now the other way, Duquesne working down, number eight in red. As Komorowski goes for a defensive play as, an R, as a Duquesne player takes the uh, falls to the ground. Now across the field here, Duquesne, RMU, number nine. That's Damon Nelson applying the pressure, and that ball's going to go out of bounds. And that's going to be a Duquesne throw-in from the right sideline. 
lot of pressure from Damon Nelson so far, a name that we've said quite a few times, the sophomore, the outside back has really been all over the place it seems like for the Colonials so far. Duquesne throws it in. Bouncing ball around here. Duquesne gets pressure. Good play Good there by the RMU. Is RMU, RMU looking to that. capitalize. They were really fighting for that ball. And it's going to hit off of RMU. A smart play from Duquesne. But right there, I believe it was number four, Jimmy, Bur Jimmy Burhey. To battle it out there. RMU gains possession. Duquesne takes it right back. RMU again has it. Cross midfield. It's number 13, Catanzaro. Gets the ball taken away. Duquesne storming down the field again. Just passing along softly here. As a good slide play there from Komorowski. And that nice. one's going to go out, but Komorowski possibly saving another beautiful chance from Duquesne. RMU looking better on defense here and uh, since the goal. We're looking to turn things around. We've seen more pressure down, down low in the offensive zone here, and they seem to be, be playing a tighter defense here. A couple substitutions for the Colonials just to get some fresh faces out onto the field. As the throw-in for Duquesne. Heads towards the net. Good header from RMU. Now number two, Kaminsky has it. He has men behind him oh. as he takes a tumble, no call there. It seemed like it was a little towards the knee, but nothing called. They say play on. It's now towards the midfield. Duquesne and RMU still battling for possession. Catanzaro backs it up. Duquesne has a player back. Can he get there as he puts a little bit of a body? No call again. The ref's letting them play on. Komarowski's going to take it up himself. Komarowski with speed, sends it down, tries to get Duquesne to touch it, and they won't. Smart play from number 27 in red, as now it'll just be a goal kick, but a beautiful play from Komarowski just to get something going here for RMU. Yeah, he displayed some good, he's displayed some good vision during this, this first quarter here. Um, that was, it was a good read. For an outside back, he's been in the play a lot, but he's also gotten back. It's one thing that you know, even from hockey yourself here, Garrett, is if you're a defenseman and you want to come up in the play, you have to be able to get back. And he's shown that so oh, far. Oh, for sure. Him, him and Bryce Kirk have shown that both of them are two very good two-way players here as the keeper for uh, Duquesne brings it up and RMU intercepts it, That's tries to move forward on the attack. Good play there from Rum, working to the outside, throws nice it across cross. as Duquesne plays it, bouncing towards the middle as the ball keeps bouncing its way around. Header off number eight, Bryce Kirk, working its way towards center field here. And that one's going to bounce its way towards the line. Catanzaro fighting for it as Ooh. he gets tripped up, and I think that's going to be a call. Quite a collision there. Finally, looking, looking to get a first call here in the game. The we hear a applause. round of applause from the crowd. i got to say, I'll give it out to the RMU students. A bunch in attendance here today for this first game. Definitely showing support for the men's club soccer team. Let's see if we can back it up here with the women's team here at 3 o'clock. As the throw in here from the Colonials. Gives it off to number two, Kaminsky. Ball bouncing around here. Kaminsky pressured hard from Duquesne. Throws it towards the nice midfield. Cross. Gets off the head shot here. Bouncing ball taken away by the keeper. Good opportunity from RMU again. The keeper just reading it perfectly. Good boot there from the keeper in red. Ball bouncing towards the RMU sideline off number 30. Austin, Austin Martin, the sophomore. And it'll be a Duquesne ball as RMU just tries to regroup here on defense. Ball played in. Down towards the defensive zone. As Duquesne playing it back as RMU's providing heavy pressure here. Towards midfield, as RMU reads that one, two, three Colonials right there to take that shot away. Going to wide here to Carter Rum, pressured again, goes smartly back to his defenseman. Has a good play there as Rum plays catch. Rum this puts it forward. It's number 21, Ray Thomas. Ball bouncing towards the net as the keeper is going to take that one. Number 32, Chris Olay was right there for the pressure, and the keeper had to hurry up on that one. The closest chance they've got so far for the Colonials. 
Yeah, I really haven't seen seen any sort of uh, immediate uh, attack here. We've, we've been putting on pressure for a little while, but uh, Duquesne bringing the ball up on the right side. It's number five. It's battling hard to get the ball back. Joey Salami, the junior. Ball bouncing around here. Colonials providing some good pressure. Ball bouncing as Duquesne gets an edge here. Number three, Rum. Off the bench, we've called his name quite a few times in the last couple of seconds here. Definitely made an impact since coming off the bench here for sure. A nice read up to the right side. Mason Miller gets tripped up a little bit, and it looks like it's going to be a Duquesne throw in. Miller providing the pressure. Also, a name we've called quite a few times today. His number six in red here has the throw in. As a couple more substitutions for the Colonials. As uh, number 12. Komorowski gets a little bit of a breather, and I think he deserves it. He's He's been busting all game. Oh, for sure. We've been calling his name throughout this entire half. Uh, hopefully he'll be he'll be rested up on the bench, be able to make an impact in the second half here. That's the throw in. Right through to RMU. Has a chance here. It's Miller. Miller battling for it. Leads out the midfield. It's pressure from behind. Duke is number 21 in blue. Thomas plays it back. Army back towards midfield, trying to set something up here. Working its way towards the side, towards Duquesne's bench. Ooh. As a Duquesne player takes a tumble, as Brian Kamiski was right Put there. The physicality here, number yeah. 32, taking the ball back. Army is on some pressure fighting. here. As I think they're going to call off sides, I believe and it'll be Duquesne ball, but RMU turning it up a notch here with a little bit of physicality and just trying to get something going in the offensive zone. All right, last five minutes, we've really seen the ball down here on the right side of the field. That's what we like to see. They've, uh, they've definitely been trying to turn it around and, and uh, put, a, put a number on the board here. As a kick there leads right into RMU's favor as they try to get numbers going the other way. Through midfield, Duquesne meets him right there and takes it right back. RMU applying the defensive pressure. That's number 20, Andrew Seriello, with the good pressure and throws that one quickly in. Off of number 37 in red and another throw in, I believe, for RMU. That was a good read right off of the defending Duquesne player just to move the ball. Yeah, field. quick little move of the ball up the field, another throw in, and putting on pressure in their half of the field again. That's what I like to see. As Duquesne feeling the pressure just throws that, that one out. That would be the third throw in. Just moving the ball up the sideline, working out really well. Bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it works out for him. Throw it, throw it in here for RMU. Working its way back, and they're just going to send that one the whole length of the field towards the keeper, headed by number 27, up by number, I believe, 19 in red. Towards midfield, Duquesne, just trying to move the ball up. Thomas with the pressure. RMU, RMU picks really it right off, hard. working their way up. Tries to go for Miller, intercepted by Duquesne. RMU working up, tried to play that one. And now number 27 is coming with speed down. Back Ooh. is number three, Rum, who leaves a beautiful body check. It's, I'm used to hockey, I'm sorry. <laughs> Quite the collision there, thrown by no, number three, Rum, though. Taking the guy off the ball as he, he ran up the field with quite some speed. Got Duquesne ball here on the left left side. Kick to the middle, cleared out. You might need to see Carter Rum in a hockey uniform in coming days here. He came up quick. He can. He did put, put some shoulder down into that one. So RMU moves the ball back to the offensive half of the field and tries to put on some more pressure here. His number two is battling for the ball in the corner and Duquesne kicks the ball out once again. Another RMU throw in from the left sideline. He just lost his footing it looked like. Yeah. He went to just kick the ball and it just looked like his legs just went out from under him. And it's going to go in RMU's favor here as they're working their way towards the goal again. Luckily, no flag there on the rum play. Cause if, I, don't, I don't know about intent, collision. but he came back quick. The throw in. Played number five, Salami. As that one's played out again, another, another RMU, RMU throw, throw in. in. As he gets taken down, that's going to be a call. As number 10, Colin Greeny gets taken down. Only the second penalty of the, of the game so far. 
as uh, RMU looks to capitalize on this one for sure. Sending three, four guys towards the net here. Make that five or six, as they're sending a ton of people up here to try to get this one in. Hey guys, what's the score? What's uh, Let's see. <laughs> It'll be number 10. It'll be Greeny with the kick. As RMU's moving their way towards the crease a little more here. Wonder if Greeny's going to try to go for the header here or he's going to take the actual shot. Greeny throws it towards the net. Stop. Oh. Loose ball in front. Duquesne clears. Army gets it right back. Ball bouncing around towards midfield. Taken away by RMU. Is that one's going to go past number 30? As he gets tangled up a little bit wow. and down to the ground. And I believe that's going to go in RMU's favor. That's going to be RMU's ball. Quite, quite an opportunity RMU just had down. Down on the keeper making a nice save on the kick from the from the sidelines. Austin Martin was the man there, number 30. Ball went past him, but a good defensive work to just keep the ball in his possession. Ball thrown down into the Duquesne zone. As they look just to move the ball forward here, number six. Thrown wide, RMU's gonna take it right back. RMU really swarming Duquesne's defense, just constantly surrounding them. Nice player there for number 37, take the ball away on the Duquesne side. We see some athleticism there from the ref, hopping over the ball there. Love to see that from referees. As Another RMU. interception from RMU. Nice play there from 19, Ramsey Damone. Or Damon Ramsey, I like when we had that backwards on the sheet. <laughs> Damon Ramsey, the beautiful play there. As Ooh. another player taken down, the ref's going to call that one too. And RMU looking to capitalize again with a kick from the left side. So they send, send men in front of the net here. Got Bryce Kirk lining up to take this shot. Kirk was the man down. The physicality is ramped up about 120% from kickoff here. As Kirk looking here to see his options. Kirk we know has the leg. Just throws it towards the net. Kirk in front, ball's loose as Duquesne's going to wisely just play it away as a beautiful job there from Bryce Kirk to provide pressure. Uh, we have another arm you throw in as uh, Bryce Kirk throws it in from the left sideline again. Crosses to the middle as Duquesne tries to clear, moving the ball up to half, and that ball is going to go out of bounds again as, as we see another arm you throw in from the left sideline. Eventually, they got, they're going to capitalize on one of these. Opportunity after opportunity. They've gotten pressure and they've gotten shots, and eventually one of these is going to go in. It's going to go in RMU's favor, hopefully, here before the end of the half. That's the throw in from RMU. Battling there, number 19 in blue, along with a couple others, and that ball is going to sail out yet again for another RMU throw in. Like you said, we gotta capitalize on one of these. The shots are five to one for RMU, really putting on the pressure here in the last ten minutes. It's another throw in from the left sideline, crosses to the middle. Duquesne with another clear that is out of bounds again. Duquesne just trying to hold on to this one nothing lead as best as they can, and they'll take outage after outage here just to get a break and a stoppage to regroup. As a header, bouncing towards the Duquesne bench, working the line. Couple bodies there from both sides, couple slips, nothing there. Played out to Bryce Kirk in the middle. Duquesne intercepts, Kirk still working the pressure here. Towards midfield, number 15 in red working. Works his way up here. Shot, safe for the keeper in RMU side, uh, Connor Dalton. First time we've called his name in about 15 minutes-ish. Because the ball's always been in Duquesne's zone as RMU's going to take this one up yet again. Towards the middle. RMU trying to regroup. Colin Greeny off to number five, Salami. As number 20 in blue working his way over, just couldn't get there in time. Ball, as Duquesne's ball just seemed to sail on Connor there a little bit as it just went over the, the midfielder's head. And we're going to have, for the first time in about probably 10 minutes, a uh, Duquesne throw in from the left sideline. Is Duquesne sending a bunch of people towards the throw in here? Possibly make a couple substitutions, and they will. Using the clock to their favor here. The throw in. RMU's right there to intercept it. Bouncing ball around. 
sliding play from the RMU defender. It's number five in blue, Greeny, or Salimi, sorry, plays it back. As that's thrown off Duquesne, a, nice a beautiful bounce. Up. And a nice touch there by number 10. As Bear, he battling with the Duquesne player, and I think it's going to be an RMU corner kick. And I we think see Bryce say, Kirk making his way down again. If there's one leg you want to kick this ball towards tonight, I think it's going to be Bryce Kirk. The center back, center mid, sophomore wearing number eight. He's shown his potential all game. Let's see what he got here from the corner. Kirk throws in. Finds number 10, and that one's going to bounce over top of the net. But a good read there. Greeny just couldn't settle that one down. Interesting play, though, there. Throw in for an intentional head to get some air time. Almost like a corner. Pretty much like a corner, but uh, a little bit different. It's a bold strategy. Kirk to Greeny. Could work. A couple more practices with that, but it was a good intent, I think. And it could use an RMU's favor going forward. For sure. Duquesne moves the ball with a booming kick to half field. Bryce Kirk making another header as we, uh, and the ball goes back down to the, the RMU keeper as he collects the ball. No pressures. He has some time to work with the ball. He's going to pass that one forward to Kirk. Ooh. Intercepted by Duquesne. They're going to try to throw this one down off an RMU defender and bounces out of play. Thankfully, from an RMU fan from trying to save Alex's car there, <laughs> he was going to be in the way, and I don't think Alex would have been very happy with us or the team if his car got hit. Duquesne finally trying to put on some pressure in the RMU offensive zone for the first time in, in, in quite some time. As the RMU moves it back up to, to go on offense and try to attack throw here. Throw this one down as number 10 takes a tumble. Greeny drawing the call as he's hunched over. RMU playing very aggressively now as they're working their way up the field. And we get another round of applause from the RMU crowd as they like to hear that one called. So we see Bryce Kirk once again setting up to, uh, to take his kick. And hopefully RMU can capitalize on this one here. Kirk making sure the laces are good. Really important kick here for Kirk and Blue. Kirk lining up. He has Mason Miller with him. Miller working his way in. Kirk throws it. Trying to go for the header again. Oh. Shot just bounces over the net. A good read from the Colonials and Bryce Kirk. The header just not in favor of the Colonials again. Another nice attempt though. We, we Colonials can't seem to just put it all together, but we see some very good ball movement and some very good communication between the teammates here as, as we're just missing out on missing the net and just missing our opportunities here. Duquesne definitely reeling. They have, uh, the tide has definitely turned since the first half as the Duquesne was was definitely putting on pressure here. As now they, they have been on defense for the last I don't know, 15 minutes now as uh, they try to clear the ball, get it to half as Bryce Kirk intercepts it again and RMU tries to move it forward. Along the Duquesne side as they back it up. All the way back to the keeper. He's going to hold for a second and send this one out. RMU applying pressure, try to get this one up as the Duquesne player takes a tumble and it's going to go in Duquesne's favor. Now Duquesne is going to take their time setting this one up as they're trying to kill as much clock as they can here, holding on to a one nothing lead. Yeah, certainly trying to just get to the half here and maybe regroup. They've been, they've been on the defense for, for quite some time now. They're trying to put on some pressure here as number 27 boosts the ball up. Keeper reading that well and taking that, throwing it right up. Yeah, wasting no time as RMU working their way up. Pass there, number 10 in blue, Greeny. Side kick to the side, number nine. Sends it up, finds Greeny again. Sends it down towards the Duquesne bench as they're gonna recollect it here as Duquesne's gonna stop it. Send it towards the left side of the crease. It's number two in red. He's gonna work his way up the field. Pressured hard here by Komorowski. As that ball's gonna bounce its way down and Bryce Kirk going for it. The goalkeeper calls him off as he sends that one Ooh. towards us. And a good catch by a fan there as the keeper sends that one. Not happy with himself there as he just seemingly missed his footing on that one. That one kind of just sailed out of bounds on him there. 
both teams making a couple substitutions, including uh, Garini heading off for a quick breather and number 30, Austin Martin. Just a couple more guys make their way onto the field. We have a Duquesne uh, throw in from the left sideline here as number two looks to, to start the offensive attack for Duquesne. RMU battling hard, moving the ball past half field again, looking to attack. It's Connor Rum with the head of steam trying to get to that ball. It's going to once again go back to the keeper. Duquesne tries to clear the ball out. Number 13 pressing hard. Duquesne moving the ball up the right side. RMU working. Duquesne's going to send it down. Is Duquesne's looking for a call. Looking for a handball there, there, but no call from the refs. Down towards the RMU sideline. Sends it towards midfield. Nice touch there. Yes, RMU player takes a tumble. Nothing there as he looks for a call. RMU Duquesne exchanging back and forth. No one gaining good possession of the ball here yet at midfield. Anyone's game still 1-0 Duquesne so far in this first half. Duquesne trying to cross over in front of the net. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be RMU's ball. Yeah, he's aiming for the wrong net there, Garrett. I believe so. It does count. You were cheating. Is the keeper. He's going to collect this himself, and he's going to kick this one away. Readjusting his gloves, taking his time. Is a couple more substitutions for both sides. Everyone collecting towards midfield. RMU looking to go back on offense as we've kind of seen the ball ball go back and forth just between uh, between both sides. No no team in the last five minutes really having uh, too much of a grasp or uh, momentum here as as Duquesne tries to move the ball back up towards the RMU goal. Towards midfield, Duquesne collecting it, playing it towards the RMU side. Gain midfield and throws it down. Looks like it's going to be. Out of bounds and an RMU throw in. Some of our favorite words of the day here so far. <laughs> it'll be towards the RMU bench. And it'll be number nine, Damon Nelson, with the throw. Nelson throws towards midfield, tries to find his man. As right there, I believe, was number five, Joey Salami. He plays that one out of play. It's going to be an RMU throw in. A little bit of a debate here. Yeah, I couldn't tell from our angle who touched the ball last. I believe it is going to be an RMU throw in, though, yeah. as Duquesne looks to be backing up here. Possible break from RMU. Throws this one in. Off a couple heads towards Duquesne's sideline here. Sends that one towards midfield. The keeper way out of his crease to collect that one. Throws it towards the side for an RMU player to pick that one up. Keeper works his way back towards. The field as an RMU player looks like he lost his footing there, trying to go for that pass. Duquesne intercepts, sends that one down. The keeper's going to collect it again. Bouncing the ball, just getting a little feel for it, and sends this one away. Uh, good play there, RMU boxing out. Tried to collect the ball and they work their way downfield. Well done play there by RMU, boxing out the defender so the ball can move forward. Catanzaro bounces it up a little bit, takes a tumble. Unable to capitalize on that play there as uh, Duquesne moves the ball up past midfield as RMU tries to, tries to move the ball forward again. 20 shows some good body position, moving it over to number 13. Yeah, that's Suriello again. The freshman making a big impact here in his first game for the Colonials. And a nice pass intercepted by Duquesne. That was Berhe, number four in blue, going for that ball. Bouncing off the head of Bryce Kirk. Kirk tried to go for Miller, bounces off Duquesne. Komorowski bounces it out of play towards us, but luckily there's a fence in the way. <laughs> or else we would have gotten hit there, but I think we would have been fine. Our camera, maybe not so much. As now Duquesne making a couple substitutions, including the guy who was going to throw it in. As Duquesne collects themselves here, it'll be number nine. It's looking for somewhere to go. RMU setting up. Duquesne with the ball here. Throws it in. Off the foot here. Towards midfield. Bounces away. Number 21 in blue. Thomas tried to go for that ball. Another freshman making a big impact so far in this game. Towards the sideline. Boxing away is Nelson. RMU intercepts there as, as they look to collect and move back up the field. Nice pass. That's a beautiful there. pass. 
Right, ooh. Trying to send one to Rum. Rum bodying for the ball. He gets oh. it, bodied again. Nothing there. You might be right. We, we do need to get this man in some. Oh, oh Rum, what the goodness. Hit. Oh, my goodness. We need to get this man in some hockey pads. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Carter Unfazed. Rump. Not the biggest guy, but holy. The freshman showing the body so far. As a Duquesne player, taking him time to collect himself. As Rum gave him a little bit of a stare down, too. He was not happy with that one. He was really showing him who, who, who's boss on that one. He absolutely laid the body on that one. Mike Joseph, if you're watching this, you might need to give this kid a tryout. <coughs> Ball bouncing towards there, and now it's picked up by Carter Rum. Just over his head, he apologizes for that one. We could hear that all the way from over here. Komarowski's going to pick it up towards the sideline. A little bit of a collision there yeah. as the ball went it's out. Not yep. Komarowski, good play there. I think he might have kicked it off of the Duquesne player. That was a little bit of a conversation with the referee. Smart play there. The ball approaching the sideline. A nice throw in, missed header. As Duquesne looks to move the ball forward. Number nine to the middle. Duquesne putting on pressure here. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. An yeah, unfortunate break. The ref here. Yeah. It'll be Rum the guilty party again. As the Duquesne player took a tumble. Duquesne wasting no time moving the ball up to the front left. As number nine looks across to the middle. Ooh. Good shot there. Another nice play. Good save block. by the keeper, making his way all the way across the net. As the keeper, it was in his box and nothing's called. Good job there by the keeper, Connor Dalton. There's a reason why he's one of the captains of this team. He makes a beautiful play there. As he sends that one away, just over the head of Rum as Duquesne's going to collect it, but Rum's right there to get the ball back. Rum. Working his way in, plays it forward, as now he takes a tumble and that's gonna get called. Rum taketh and Rum giveth away. Rum really making an impact here, stirring up some of the Duquesne players, getting penalties drawn, and, and really laying the body. As uh, RMU with a good good field position here, looking to capitalize, as we haven't seen too much of an offensive attack from RMU in the last five minutes or so. It'll be the captain Thomas, the junior, and Mason Miller, the two parties, around the ball. It looks like that'll be Miller, maybe, the one to take this one. Thomas and Miller talk things over. Interesting that Kirk's not up there, as we see uh, Bryce, number eight, up in uh, the front right. It'll be Miller, shot towards the net, bouncing Ooh. ball, good header from Duquesne. Kirk's right there to try to play that one back. Miller on the pressure. Miller takes a tumble. And Duquesne's going to pick it up along where the waiting players on the field are standing. Duquesne working their way up the field. Towards the middle, good play from number 20 in blue. It's Cerciello again, the freshman, right on the ball. Good defensive read there just to get the ball out of play and kind of slow things down. Just a couple players work their way onto the field. RMU crowd showing support for some of the newcomers onto the field. I believe that would be specifically number 15, Nolan Counselor there, as he gets a roar from the crowd. Fan favorite breaks his way on. Ball towards the middle, kick there. Good play by the keeper to read that one. So calm in the net. Very rarely looks rattled. It's a nice high boot to midfield. Header That's goes back. RMU looking to move forward here. Nice pass up. There he as that one sent out a play, a good hand there from one of the fans. Knock that away, Ellie Duquesne's ball with a throw in. Throw in, good play there from number 21 in blue. Bouncing it forward, tried to go back for Kirk, just a little bit too far. Picked up by an army defender working his way in. Kirk wisely playing back here as number 20, Cerciello, was caught up field. Duquesne working their way up now. Komorowski with the pressure, hits his own teammate was Duquesne there. Is now working it up as RMU tried to make a good pass there to Berhe. Coming up is number coming 32. In speed, 32 flying really? in for the attack as we're able to keep the ball on offense here. Miller boxing out, working his way outside. Miller wow. coming in, shot, and what scores! Play by Miller. Mason Miller strikes to tie this one up. The mighty Magic Miller ties it up. What a play from number 32 and Miller as they work together to attack the defender and move forward. 
Miller showing some real good ball possession skills as he boxed out and was able to just work his way into the middle for a shot. It was Chris Olehi, number 32, the junior with the good pass there. And as we said, it was all in due time here. And Mason Miller strikes before the end of the half to tie it up. RMU finally able to capitalize here. Really well done play. As a diving play from Nelson. Now the intensity is picking it up. Duquesne trying to get one before the half. RMU just trying to hold and get another goal here. It'll be RMU's ball with a throw in. This will be an Nelson. interesting second half for sure as we've seen the intensity of the physicality and just the game in general pick up. Uh, I'll be curious to see if that if that continues into the second half as uh, RMU throws it in from the left sideline. Once again, Duquesne intercepting and pressing forward. RMU just number 20 just passed the ball out of bounds again. Cerciello, common name we've called on the defensive side of the ball. Good looks from the freshmen so far. Really going all over the field in the defensive zone, making making multiple plays. Number 32 showing his speed again. That was Olay again. Has an assist so far, the junior forward. When he's been on, he's been all over the field on the offensive, now the defensive side of the ball. We talk about a lot of two-way players in this game, including Komorowski and Kirk. Add another one to that name in Oyeli. Oh, for sure. We've seen him in the last five minutes just really come out of nowhere, honestly. As he's made an impact just all over the field. Like you said, love to see some good two-way players. It's Duquesne's going to send this one away from midfield. A couple bodies there in front, including Kirk Bryce with a Kirk. Nice clear. And that'll do it for the half. What an amazing first half. Army starting off a little bit slow. Duquesne took advantage and struck first. Followed up by a goal by Mason Miller to tie things up. And ladies and gentlemen, now we have ourselves a game. One to one. As we go to a quick intermission here, we'll be right back with the second half. Welcome back to the second half of the Duquesne Dukes versus the RMU Colonials. We're tied at one going into this one as Mason Miller, right before the end of the half, put one home with an assist to Chris Olay, the junior. And, oh boy, a 1-1 game with a lot of physicality. And it's going to be ramping up here for the second half. Oh, I'm so excited for the second half. It'll be really interesting to see what the intensity level is here starting as uh, RMU brings it back to start it off the half. A quick attack upwards, trying to put on pressure on Duquesne here. It was Miller the one that kicked it off. That one going towards the side. A header goes out of bounds off of Duquesne. It'll be an RMU throw in. Catanzara right there on the pressure for RMU. Throw it in by number 20, Andrew Cerciello. Bounces off again, and another RMU throw it. Cerciello goes to Catanzaro. Off nice the head. header to the middle there. That one's sent towards midfield as Komarowski plays it back. A misplay as RMU sends it forward. Duquesne to pick it up. Right at midfield again, makes a nice move with number 12 in a red. Got a new player here, number 19, Ramsey Damon. Ooh, quite the collision there by uh, number 20, Cerriello. Yes, Cerriello right there is Duquesne. Going to set up towards midfield. Nothing really much you can do there from Cerriello. It's Duquesne now. It's going to kick this one off. So they might work the outside here based on where he's kicking. Sends it towards the goal. Keeper making a move. Bouncing ball. Missed header there as uh, Seriello just clears it out again. Another smart play from the defender. Almost towards us again, but luckily the fence right there to stop that one. Yeah, this is the Stu. <laughs> Number nine, Duquesne saying hello to everybody. As he throws this one in. Nice little give and go there from Duquesne. Siriello getting beat to the inside. Some fancy footwork here, but number 15. Siriello bodying him out. And they're going to call that on, I believe. It'll be Duquesne's ball here. That's a tough call there. Siriello really putting in some good work in the body positioning. Has a shot here towards the middle, bouncing through. Another opportunity. Nice sliding, sliding play. play by Rum again. Rum tried to go right through one of the Duquesne defenders. Ball bouncing towards the side. Komorowski gets taken down. It'll be RMU ball. A little exchange of words there. Komorowski, another one of those hockey players, battling right till the very last second till the whistle blows. Bouncing ball. 
heads right down towards the Duquesne keeper and sends that one away. As we actually see a different Duquesne uh, keeper in net yeah, for the second do. half. We saw him warming up. We weren't sure if he was coming into the game or just the goalkeeper wanted to do some kicks. But, yeah, we do have the new goalkeeper in for them. Trying to get some reps in early in the season as Duquesne moves the ball to the outside, and that's going to go out of bounds again. Never a bad thing to have two really good keepers on one team. For just sure. in case one goes down or both just need to be ready at all times. Can make or break the game for sure. I mean, as we saw that the keeper in the first half, honestly, uh, making some some very nice saves as RMU put on put on a lot of pressure in the middle of the first half there. So keepers can definitely make a, a pretty big impact in the game as we've seen RMU's keeper make some really smart plays and some nice saves going across the net. As we see Bryce Kirk once again booting the ball up as Duquesne heads it forward trying to go on the offense here as uh, Cerciello again intercepting and moving the ball forward. Duquesne moving the ball back to the outside on the right side as they look to go on offense here. His feet are always moving, it seems like, Cersei Yellow. As Miller's going to play that one back to Kirk. Off to the side, picked up by Miller. Miller working in towards the middle. Miller with another nice little round, roundabout in the defender there. Throws it wide to Komarowski. Komarowski's going to send it down towards the RMU bench, and that'll be a Duquesne throw it. It's a little bit outside there from Komarowski. Good vision, though. We've seen Komarowski display some nice passes and some, some really good vision looking up the field. Duquesne working his way towards midfield into the offensive zone now. Throws it in. Heavy pressure there for number 30, Mart or number 30 Austin Martin. As that ball goes out of play towards the Duquesne bench, Duquesne's going to throw this one in quickly as they try to set something up here towards the net. Tried to bounce that one through as the keeper... No contention at all right there to make that save. Connor Dalton just rolls it off to the side where he has Cerciello. Cerciello throws it up. Tried to go for Katanzar. Off to Kane play. That should be an RMU ball here. Lucky and it will. play there is uh, RMU is able to capitalize and get the ball. As Bryce Kirk looks for another head in. And a powerful throw up the field as he leads on uh, number 13. As Katanzaro gets taken down as he takes a second to get up here. And it'll be, I believe, a corner for Kirk. As Katanzara works his way towards the net, Kirk, from our off angle here, it's hard to see. Yeah, it's hard to see. Not sure if the ball went out on the back back line or the, the sideline here. Not sure if it's a corner or a throw-in. Guessing it's a throw-in. It is a throw-in. And towards we see a nice throw into the middle. As the ball congested. Uh, Duquesne tries to head it out and Moves the ball out to the left side. That one's just going to roll over to number eight. And it'll be Duquesne's ball as the keeper comes out of his crease here to play this one. RMU working their way back in the defensive zone. It's the keeper here. Hands it off to one of the defenders to play it towards the line. Nice Picked up by pass. number nine. Nice little bounce move there over Mason Miller. Miller right there. So nice work by Damon. Nice play from Duquesne to get something going. Off the head of Komarowski, Duquesne coming down. Only have two people down there so far. Waiting for some more reinforcements towards the net. As Ooh. a good diving play there from the captain, Connor Dalton, with the hand to make the save. Beautiful save by Connor Dalton. Just getting his fingertips on that ball to make that go out of bounds. Keeping the game at 1-1 here. Big save. We have uh, Duquesne corner kick from the right corner as uh, RMU looks to clear the ball out and, and try to get some offense going here. Words of encouragement from Bryce Kirk as well. It's a couple substitutions for both sides. Connor Rum, one of the players exiting the field. We'll get a quick breather along with number 30, Austin Martin. Well, hopefully you see Rum back in the lineup soon before the, before the end of the half as he really was an impact player in the first half. Damon Nelson, one of the guys onto the field. As they tried to go for the head kick there, and it's going to bounce its way out of play. And that's going to be RMU's oh, yeah. ball as the keeper looks to go back, and Duquesne reels back on defense here. As Dalton runs up with the ball, hurries up and tries to set something up. Dalton sends it away off the legs of Mason Miller. Miller nice back little touch up. by Miller, regroup here. He showed off the fancy footwork all day so far. 
Cerciello gives it off to Nelson. Upfield. Nice little Catanzaro. give and go with Nelson and Catanzaro. Nelson As works it forward, Catanzaro. Plays it back to Nelson. Nelson trying to box out, and they're gonna award that, I believe, to RMU's side. And they will. Definitely a close call there. Gonna go RMU's advantage there. Even Nelson didn't even think it was his balls. He was going back on D here. As that one gets sent right into the parking lot, right over the fence. And we'll say it again. We got an RMU throw in from the sideline. I'll be completely honest. I don't think Nelson was the last one to touch that ball. I think it should have been Duquesne ball, but a lucky I, break for them for sure. That's right. Even Nelson was reeling back. RMU throw in. As RMU works their way towards the net here. Looking to get some offense going here as we haven't quite tested the keeper. Catanzaro, Sarciello. Sarciello. Absolutely no one contesting him really. Plays it off to the side, off a Duquesne defender by accident there, and it's... Not sure if that quite got the Duquesne defender. Oh. Looking to see whose ball this it's is. It's going to be Duquesne's. It is going to be Duquesne's ball. Missed pass there by uh, Cerciello. RMU arguing trying to say it did touch him, but the ref not buying that one. As Duquesne in the defensive zone now, backs it up towards the keeper. Looking to see what kind of leg this keeper's got at some point here. Hasn't tested them much yet, but RMU, they started off slow in the beginning of the first half and then was all pressure after that. It's been quite a back and forth game here though so far in the second half. We haven't really seen too much pressure from either side like definitively, although Duquesne did have quite the opportunity down earlier on, uh, on our keeper making a nice save. And that I believe is gonna go Duquesne's way here as one of the RMU players took a tumble along the sideline. We've seen the physicality kind of toned down, honestly, since Rum being out of the out, uh, off the field now. Intensity certainly still there. It's a good header there from number 19, Damon, towards the sideline, trying to fight for it, including number 15, Krauser, one of the fan favorites with the headband, as that one's going to go Duquesne's way for a throw-in. Has a couple more substitutions, as Joey Salemi, one of the guys entering the field. A throw in. Header there from Duquesne. Kirk fighting for the ball there, and it's going to go out of play. It's going to be Duquesne's ball again from the left sideline as they look to go on offense here and put some pressure on RMU. Salami providing the pressure. Also there, number 15, Krauser. Towards the Duquesne sideline, working their way forward. Towards the middle, all RMU. Nelson attempts to yeah. clear. Ball kind of goes up in the air on him. Kirk with the clear up forward. Off a couple of Duquesne players towards out of bounds area. Makes a good move there. Working his way up towards midfield. Duquesne displaying some good ball movement here as RMU is trying to clear the ball. Ball goes out of bounds on Duquesne. That's going to be the keeper's balls. RMU really looking to try to get some offense going here in this second half. It'll be Dalton. This Connor Dalton chance from behind the net is one of the also fan favorites, the senior captain keeper, as Dalton kicks this one away. A header off of a couple of Duquesne players, repossessed now from number 10 in red. A couple more bodies collide along midfield as that ball might go RMU's way and it looks like it will with a throw in. The pressure for number 32, Chris Olay. Already has one assist on the game and one of those two-way impact players you talked about in the first half. For sure. Looking for Olay to, to make an impact here in the second half and get some offense going, maybe get another connection with Miller there. The ball bounces towards the RMU sideline again. Duquesne keeps it inbounds. Sending it down, Bryce Kirk. Back on defense, trying to get this ball away. Also back there is Komarowski. Duquesne sending it towards midfield. Right there is Miller. Take it away. Miller providing pressure. Also there's number 21, Thomas. Nice pressure there from RMU as Duquesne intercepts the ball back again. Olave charging, putting pressure on there. Cerciello, Salemi all both there as RMU is going to kick that one away. Out of bounds, off of the foot of Cerciello. Over the fence it goes for the first time this game. Surprised that hasn't happened more often with all the throw-ins we've had as one of the Duquesne players disappeared into the woods. Extremely surprised that hasn't happened thus far. 
with all the balls going out of bounds left and right. It's just that's the first one that's gone over, surprisingly. But we do have a nice fence here in the way as uh, Duquesne throws the ball and looking to put some pressure on RMU here. Goes all the way back to Kirk, tries to send it off and into the woods again. And that one might not be retrievable as they look for another ball. So that one got sent into the woods. As Kirk holds on to a new ball. Looking to get the ball out of the defensive zone and get some pressure on the keeper as he really has not been tested in this second half. Kirk with the throw in. Off a couple of Duquesne players sent in the air. Right there is number nine, Nelson. Also there, number four, Barry. Derek Duquesne working right in front of the camera here in front of us. As a bad foot there as Nelson's gonna get called for a trip, I think. It'll be Duquesne's ball. Duquesne looking to capitalize on this one as they have some good ball position here. RMU really needs to get the ball out of their defensive zone and and give their defenders some break. It'll be number 35 in red going to kick this one away. A couple army players trying to block this one and read it. Goalkeeper is getting set here, Connor Dalton. Gives the thumbs up and the shot. Goes for the header, good army defense there to knock it away. Working to the outsides, Duquesne. There's the alley putting pressure on as we see another clear and that ball is, is gonna be gone, gone again. Last three balls have now been cleared into the woods after having none the entire first half. Andrew Komarowski with the first home run of the game as that one got sent into the woods there. Still 1-1 one, one on the score sheet though, so it's not gonna count in this game, but maybe an RMU baseball in a couple months. As a new ball is retrieved from number eight, Bryce Kirk. It'll be Duquesne's ball with a throw in. The throw in here. Or corner kick, my mistake, towards the net, and an easy stop there for Connor Dalton. We've definitely seen a change in pace since the since the middle of the first half as RMU is dominating, having five to one shot. But uh, now in the second half, we have it all tied up at five and five as uh, Duquesne has kind of put more pressure on RMU. They look to attack here as uh, Damon moves the ball forward into the middle. Number five trying to protect the ball here, moving it to the outside, and Duquesne clears it. The whole length down, now it's a mat running match here. And it'll be Berkeley, or Berkey number seven, back on defense. First time we've called his name in the game thus far. Bryce Kirk's I believe he swapped out for uh, Komarzynski uh, a few minutes ago, so he, he hopefully he'll be able to make an impact here and uh, give Komarzynski a little break. A junior outside back running number seven. Kirk's gonna throw this one in. Kirk off a couple heads there, including Brian Kaminsky, running number two one of the freshman forwards. Ball bounces around, it'll go Duquesne's throw it. First half it was RMU throw and this half it looks more on the Duquesne throw it. Bryce Kirk. Over to the side, falling down as a Duquesne player trying to block that away. Towards the sideline, picked up by number 32, Olay. Olay blocks that one, tries to go down to get that ball and it's gonna roll its way out of bounds. It's gonna be Duquesne ball once again. Kick from the keeper as he's going to hand it off to one of the defenders. Goalkeeper hasn't had an actual kick yet so far in the second half for Duquesne. As the shot here towards midfield, bouncing off a couple heads. Bryce Kirk's going to try to settle this one down back to the netminder. As he's going to play it out of bounds wisely as the pressure from Duquesne's number 13 was coming on there. Number nine in red. Aaron Brown throws it in. Bouncing off, picked up by RMU. Around one guy loses possession to Brown. Brown working the sideline. Couple bodies there, RMU's gonna play it out. Keeps it in bounds there as it works its way towards midfield. Barry on the pressure. As out of the net comes Dalton who throws it in. Smart play by Dalton as he calls for that ball and tries to move it up field. Unable to do so as Duquesne intercepts it and tries to go on offense again here. Drinking down the left sideline. It's Kaminsky with the pressure there wearing number two. Kaminsky usually a forward down helping his defenders here. That ball's gonna roll out of play. 
I believe it should be an RMU goal kick. We wait for the official call here. There's a couple, about four or five new RMU players work their way onto the field. There's some needed substitutions it looks like so far here in the second half. Still one to one, tied here between Duquesne and Robert Morris. Mason Miller with the goal for RMU and Aaron Brown the goal for Duquesne. Chris Olehi, one of the assists on the Mason Miller goal. Set the play up for Miller, have a wide open net. Important corner kick here. Not a great kick from the corner as Bryce Kirk moves the ball up, trying to clear it. Another Bryce header from Bryce. Though. As Carter Rum makes his way back into the game as one of those substitutions there wearing number three. Hopefully we'll see him make an impact here on offense as we could use some physicality and use, some, use a little momentum shift here. The ball continues to bounce its way towards the woods. Is that one's going to go over the fence, but that one's going to be retrievable, it looks like. As Bryce Kirk's going to pick this one up. Kirk's going to send this one away, it looks like. Throws it in. Tries to go for Rum. Rum's going to battle for this ball. Rum's going to work on his body position there and edge out the defender, but unable to maintain possession of the ball as he works his way up the field. Duquesne resetting in the back is number four. Makes an attack on the ball. Trying to push forward here. Jimmy Berhe, one of the players on the attack here. Also up there is Rum and Miller. Berhe on the attack. Rum trying to join in there. Rum working into the inside. Duquesne still has possession at midfield. Nice play by Damon there as he takes the ball away. Damon plays it. Number 13 in red tries to take it away. Kirk just sends it. Down there as well as Catanzaro tries to jump over a Duquesne player to avoid contact. Duquesne back in their own zone, just trying to regroup here. Still one to one here in the second half. He's gonna send it down. Off the foot there, number 30 in blue is one of the Duquesne players has a little bit of time coming back up onto the play. Kirk. Still battling for the Kirk ball here. really showing his skills here. So he's able to work around three defenders and make a very smart pass up the field to Miller. Miller trying to go for Bear. He just a little bit out of his reach, it looks like. And it'll be a Duquesne ball. As a couple substitutions come in for Duquesne, RMU keeps the same personnel on the field. Rum up in the play as well as Miller. Also Colin Greeny. Intended pass was to Jimmy Berry. That's the throw in. Off of Duquesne. And that is a fortunate RMU break right there. We'll have an RMU throw in for the first time in a while here. As a uh, nice throw into the middle as Rum looks to attack here. Ball is cleared out to the middle by Duquesne. It's a very fortunate bounce. Brian Berkey towards the RMU sideline. He's going to send that one out of play. It's going to most likely, it will be an RMU throw in. Quickly moving is RMU. Hits off a couple of players. It's still going to go RMU's way as Duquesne does not like that call. Throw in again. Goes over to 19, Damon. Damon sends it over to Damon Nelson. Nelson finds it to Berhe. Working his way in. Tried to nice go for Miller. Shuffle pass there. Kirk looking to keep the ball in the offensive half here. Damon battling for body position. Rum with the ball, moving forward, trying to get a shooting lane. Look at Rum go here. Just, really just grinding his way plowing through. Plowing his way through the team. Kirk sends it right back in. Goes for Berhe on the left side. RMU applying pressure here for the first time all half. Berhe goes for Miller. Miller working his way in. Goes for a cross kick. Tried to go for Catanzaro. Catanzaro battling for it. Still gets taken down, and it'll be Duquesne ball. A little bit outside from the kick from Mason Miller there. Some nice pressure by RMU, putting putting uh, the Duquesne defenders finally at work for the, for the first time in this half. But uh, we see Rum making an impact yet again, really just bodying his way out. So Duquesne will set up as RMU going to make some reinforcement changes here. So the ball works its way towards. Their bench, picked up by number 19, Damon. Sends it in, goes across for number 9, Nelson. 
Nelson walking it in. Nelson across. Goes for Rum. Rum keeping the ball in his possession. Works wow. his way in. Makes a move around Rum one. Some nice footwork, too. And then he gets taken down. Nothing there. Rum back on his feet quickly. Try to get that ball back. Out to number 19, Damon. Damon works his way in. Tries to go for the cross kick. Bouncing ball there. Sliding play. Kirk trying to enter the zone here. Kirk makes a nice little pass there. Back he goes, number 15, Krauser. RMU really possessing and working the ball around their, their teammates very well here as Miller crosses it over. As number 21 gets taken, and number nine there, Damon Nelson took exception to that. As Nelson gives the thumbs down, as number 13 got back up into play as he argues to the referee. A little bit of some confrontation there as they're not happy with that call. Kirk with the ball again. Kicking from just in front of half. So RMU looks to capitalize. Really putting the pressure on here in this uh, last five minutes here. Kirk throws it in. Off a couple of bodies. Ball bounces towards the net and just outside as the keeper dives to keep that one in. A little unnecessary of a dive there. but It was going to go out regardless and it would have been his ball. But I guess to save time purposes, just grabs the ball and throws it back into play. Duquesne slowly working their way up the field here. Duquesne looking to clear their ball as they have not left their half of the field in the last five minutes or so. Let's see if he's going to test the leg, and for the first time we do see the leg of the keeper for Duquesne. RMU trying to regain possession. It's been all RMU the past couple minutes here. Back into the zone it goes. On the chase is Colin Greeny. And that ball is going to go out of bounds, and that will be Duquesne's ball, I believe. Back and forth they go. And it's going to go down to the wire as we expect it to be going into this one. This, this second half seems to be a, quite the repeat of the first half here as Duquesne comes out strong, putting on pressure, and RMU responding strongly as uh, we see them putting on pressure here in the second half. I'm not sure the rules with club sports, how this is going to work, but uh, we possibly see a little bit of an overtime than uh, the penalty kicks, or is this going to end up in a tie, you think? Uh, I don't I'm know. Not sure neither the neither team one. is really uh, – really dominating definitively, but I believe that uh, this game's going to be tied down until the end, just like the first half, where it was yeah. a back and forth game for a while. As Duquesne on defense here, looking to move the ball up for the first time. Nice little give and go, out of bounds on Duquesne. That's going to be an RMU throw in from Nelson. As RMU and Duquesne make a couple substitutions, as a reminder, we do have a game right after this, the women's Game at 3 o'clock between the Colonials and IUP Crimson Hawks coming into town to play for the first women's matchup here on the channel and in their season. Bryce Kirk with another throw in as uh, RMU looks to exchange some players as Rum comes off again. Kirk. An exchange for number two, Komazinski. Kirk with the throw in. As a heavy pressure there from Kaminsky. And the referee, I think, is going to call Kaminsky here. I'm um, not too sure about that one this close in the game, but uh, the referees are going to award that to Duquesne's side. It's a little bit on both parties there, but Duquesne's going to get the ball. We, got, we hear a Connor Dalton chant again from the crowd as they are encouraging their senior captain goaltender, who has yet to yet to really be uh, tested in the last 10 minutes, making, making some big saves early on in the second half, but thus far, last five minutes or so, really... Really not had to do too much. This is Bryce Kirk with another throw in from the left sideline. Three more substitutions come on for the Colonials to finish this one out. As we see Serielli coming back on and number 13, uh, Andrew Komorzinski. Some of the solid defenders they started with, Komor Komorowski. Kirk patiently waits to throw this one in. Damon Nelson chance now start. From the crowd behind. Bryce with another good throw, leading him down the field. Ball bouncing. Kaminsky throws it up. Off the foot of number six of Duquesne. RMU slowly is going to work their way down the field with a throw and in. And Bryce Kirk with another throw in from the left sideline, looking to attack quickly here. Launching the ball forward towards a Duquesne defender. Miller with a nice touch to keep the ball in the offensive zone. As he looks to attack here. The intensity starts to wrap up. Playing closely there is number four, Ferry. Ball gets thrown down into the Colonial zone. And that is going to be a RMU throw in once again. Cerciello quickly throws it in. 
tries to go for Barry just a little outside. Duquesne's going to pick it up and throw it out of play. And it'll be 19, Damon. He's going to hand it off to Sir Cielo to get things going here. Last couple minutes of play. Still tied at one. Mason Miller's goal at the end of the first half got things even for RMU. Sir Cielo with the throw. Tries to go towards the middle bear. He throws it in. Man there, number five, Salemi. Ball bouncing its way through. Ball taking came. quite a spin there to the yeah. outside as Barry tries to keep it in. Going out of bounds, not sure who that was off of. It's going to be RMU's ball as Bear he almost tripped himself trying not to touch the ball there and it ended up working in his favor. It'll be a throw in here, I believe, for the Colonials. Number 32 throws a high lofter to the middle. Lay. And now it's going to be Duquesne's ball. Not really too sure what happened yep. there, but that's going to be Duquesne's ball throwing it in. Duquesne looking to get things going from their own defensive zone. RMU applying some heavy pressure here. Nice little give and go from Duquesne. Finally breaking the half field point, trying to move up on offense, and that's going to go out of bounds once again off of Duquesne. So we're going to see another throw in from uh, Cerciello here. Cerciello. Looking, throws, off the foot of a Duquesne player. Is, now they're just going <laughs> to slowly work their way up the field. I think we might have seen this tactic applied in the first half, if I'm not mistaken, as we RMU did. went three times in a row just working their way up the field. Launching oh, this throw in, though, all the way up to the front half of the field, as this one's just going to trickle out of bounds as well. Off an RMU player, they're going to say, and it'll be Duquesne's ball with a throw in. Down the apply pressure is Kaminsky along with Salemi towards the sideline of Duquesne. Working their way up, Sir Cielo intercepts it. Working his way up the field, throws it up off a couple of Duquesne players, and they regain possession. Sir Cielo with a nice block there to get the ball in the front half of the field. Defenders really doing an excellent job keeping the ball forward as number 32 looks to attack here. Yeah, that's a lay of <coughs> Excuse me. Working his way in as Komarowski lets that ball go out and quickly throws it back in. Finds Kirk. Kirk working his way in, taking his time. Kirk Not and rushing. Cerciello really standing out the second half, being some great defenders here. Kirk as even shot. Kirk tries to take a shot here. Goes off a defender. Kaminsky shot working its way down. Army trying to get that one. And it will be... We wait for the signals. A couple more substitutions come on quickly here as RMU's trying to maintain possession of the ball. They set something up here. It looks like it might be a corner kick. It's going to be a good opportunity for RMU to capitalize as they really have been putting on the pressure for the last 10, 15 minutes at this point on uh, Duquesne. Really just staying in their zone, moving the ball well. And like I said earlier, uh, Cerciello and Kirk just really doing an excellent job back on D as the corner comes and clears to the middle. Nice kick. Mason Miller, ball's bouncing in front, bouncing off a couple guys, including Catanzaro. Coming Cerciello into the steps up. Nice header there from number 10, Colin Gorney. Ball's bouncing every which way right now. Duquesne just trying to get anything out, and that one will enter the woods. That one's that lucky. One, it's going to stay right that there. That one stayed right in off yeah. of a tree branch there, actually. Luckily, the tree's there to save the ball. Uh, one of the, I believe, coaches or fans is going to get that one to keep play rolling. Is now it looks like the ball is down deep in the woods and we might need to get another ball again. That would be a case. That would be the fourth ball in the woods. Well, we found it, but we already continuing play. Komarowski throws it in. Missed header there. As Komarowski er, boxes off there as Army's going to keep possession. Army has also displayed some really good body positioning in, in multiple scenarios here. It, Really been done a good job of being able to keep possession of the ball or keep defenders away from the ball here. As we get a throw in from the right sideline, trying to put some pressure or continue the pressure actually on uh, Duquesne. Komarowski puts it up. Arm using to keep possession. Good play there by Carter Rum, number three, one of the fan favorites so far tonight. Keeping that ball in play. Now off number 19, Damon. Damon plays it off the sideline, going to get it as Carter Rum. <laughs> As a Sorry, Duquesne player, takes a tumble. I didn't know you were there. 
his rum. Looks like he might get called again. And it'll be Duquesne Ball. Contanzaro staying up field, including him and uh, Colin Greeny. Duquesne's going to kick this one off. Going towards midfield. Standing there is Salami. A nice header by Salami to keep the ball in the front half of the field. As uh, Rum looks to apply pressure on the Duquesne defenders as they move it up to the left field. Nice header there by Duquesne. And that ball is going to roll out of bounds again. Komarowski. And that is going to be RMU's ball. Komarowski right there again, boxing out his player, trying to maintain possession for RMU. And that one, Duquesne's going to pick that up. Suriello racing back to defend, and he will clear the ball once again. Really seen him make some smart plays this game, clearing the ball left and right, just avoiding any any uh, fallback, any confrontation in front of the net, and just kind of being smart here. As it's 1-1 one, one game as we uh, we look to close out the second half soon. Just really being smart with the ball. It's one thing, when you're a freshman, you come into a game, one of your first games too with a whole new team, and guys like him, like Cerciello, and uh, even Carter Rum, for example, even Brian Kaminsky have all played really well. Just all adjusting. three of those names we've been calling all game, all freshmen making an impact here early. Yeah. It's exciting to see. Future's Army bright. looks to clear the ball here. That ball comes forward, picked up by Cotton Zara, throws it back. Nice now little up. play there to regroup as Miller looks to clear the ball forward, making a nice pass up the field to number 11, Millen Mason. Greeny goes forward, finds Cotton Zaro. Cotton Zaro bouncing the ball, throws it up, tries to go for a header. As it looks like number three, Rum, looked like he had a equipment malfunction there for a second. Miller takes a tumble, still had possession of the ball there. Cross kick. Clear to the middle. Nice kick by number 12, Andrew Komarzinski. As number five, Salemi tries to move the ball forward. Nelson reeling back. Nelson. Rum calling for it in the middle. Gets it. Moves to the outside with the ball. Passes it off to Salimi. Clears it to the middle. Oh. Front. What an opportunity just outside. Is now in the top, in the box, it looks That's like. That's going to be huge yeah. for RMU as they get a penalty kick here, really testing the goalie. This is going to be huge for RMU as we are late in the second half. The penalty kick in the box. This will be huge. I think it'll be Cotton Zara, maybe. Some really good movement between Salimi and Nelson to get this penalty drawn here. And it's going to be uh, number 10, Gorini. Gorini, game on the line. Huge opportunity for RMU to capitalize. Gorini with the shot. Scores! And it's a goal! Colin Gorini makes it 2-1 to one RMU off a penalty kick. And RMU takes the lead when the dying seconds of the game. Huge opportunity for RMU, and they came through and capitalized. Greeny, my goodness, called his number all game, takes advantage of a penalty right in front, and Robert Morris is now up 2-1 to one as the fans are back into this game. And now Robert Morris, will, as uh, we actually see Salimi, Rum, and Greeny go out as uh, RMU is going to look to play some defense here as we're closing in, in the last 10 minutes of the match here. Uh, as RMU with the lead 2-1 to one, as uh, Duquesne is going to need to respond here. Just like what Duquesne tried to do in the beginning of the first half was just not let anything go into your net. Play defense, box everything out. Army's going to try to follow that method right now to keep this a 2-1 to one lead. Duquesne working their way in, sending almost everyone up into the play. Boxed out there by number Some 8. Some good Kirk. body work by Kirk as he moves the ball forward. Nice clear by Kirk, really just staying composed with the ball. Duquesne getting the ball back here. Kirk again, moving the ball up. It's Duquesne trying to just get anything as Kirk's now going to settle the ball down. Kirk slowing down the play here, just clearing the ball out. Unable to do so as it's intercepted by a Duquesne player moving forward. It's Cerciello Cer clears the ball out. Goes out on the back line, though, so that's going to be a corner kick for Duquesne. Hoping to clear the ball out here. Cerciello, like we said, smart plays. Puts that one right out of play after a miscue there from Bryce Kirk. And now it's going to be a corner kick, as you mentioned. Catanzaro is going to apply slight pressure here on the outside of the of the, uh, the goal crease. Suriello and uh, Bryce Kirk here are really going to need to need to step up and continue to play how they've been playing all game and just 
hold on to this lead for RMU as the corner kick comes from the corner. As a good head, nice they're header. diving. And Once. that ball will be absolutely booted. I think that man is playing the wrong sport here. I think I saw a couple fans call for the fair catch. <laughs> as uh, now it was being taken by a Captain Connor Dalton. That's actually Caleb Morgan, one of the tier two roller kids over there. Making an impact here from the sideline. Caleb stepping up. Shout out Caleb Morgan. One of, my, one of my good friends. What a great guy. Good luck to him in the roller hockey tryouts tonight as they are taking place at the uh, the island. As he leads the chant for our goaltender here, Connor Dalton, as he looks to clear the ball out with a nice boot up to half field. Miller with a nice header to keep the ball moving forward here. That was just a smart play from Miller. Just put it into the offensive zone. Well executed, too. Those are not easy to get those headers timed right to get the ball where you want. RMU just putting all their personnel towards midfield and just trying to keep the ball in the defensive zone. Ball bouncing around. We got Seriello applying pressure again. So that ball's going to take a bounce. Dalton's going to come out Dalton's of his crease. Dalton's going to come out yep. and get this. Really seen some aggressive, uh, aggressive keeps from uh, Dalton here, grabbing the ball multiple times, but looks so calm in net. Played a really good game on his end so far, moving the ball up the field well too. As we see an interception here from number 21, uh, Thomas. Komarzynski looks to play some defense here, trying to take the ball away from Duquesne on the left sideline, and that's going to go out of bounds. And that, not sure whose ball that is, a little bit Maybe of a debate Duquesne's. here. I believe so. A couple of Duquesne players are working their way up field now, so I think we're going to go that way. Duquesne kind of seemingly taking their time here. I don't know if I was them, I would rush this play. I'd not really. Not with the, uh, not rush, rush, but you know. Uh, we're closing down on the game here. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really have too much time to work with. As we see a uh, goaltender going out and getting the ball again. Referee blew the play dead. I think it's going to be something in his army, maybe a hand pass. As we, it'll be, it will be Duquesne's ball though from, looks like around the corner area for throw in. As Duquesne looks to put this one in play. Sending a lot of personnel up into the crease. Duquesne looking to capitalize here. Nice header to clear it by uh, Suriello and goaltender coming out once again and quickly moving the ball forward as Suriello races up the sideline. Nice play. Good Get catch the from the fan next to us in blue with it's the Sarriello hand. looking to move the ball up. In no rush by any means, though, is RMU to get this ball back in play. is looking to just kill the clock here, honestly. As Damon Nelson, one of the veteran leaders on this team, telling everyone to calm down, take your time. We have the ball. We need to set it up in our favor here. As Gives it off to Kirk once again. Just getting new personnel on the field as well is what they need to do. As, Nelson. as we see Kamzinski coming off the field. Another and run back on the field actually too. Great job by Nelson just to rally the troops there and just nice tell throw everyone on the by same page. Bryce. Duquesne's trapped in their own you zone. See Gorini back in again with Rum. Gorini applying a lot of pressure up front. Suriello clearing it back up. A little back and forth here. It's Duquesne moving the ball forward on offense, trying to attack here and capitalize in the last few minutes. Nice crossover to the middle. Unsuccessful at connecting as that one's actually probably just going to roll out, and that will be RMU's ball as, uh, as Komazinski looks to throw that in. It was Barry running that one down alongside Duquesne to keep that ball away as the speed was just unmatched there. It's so now a couple more personnel changes, including Mason Miller going to take a quick breather. And once again, RMU taking their time here as they're looking to kill the clock and hold on to the 2-1 to -one lead that they now have. Throwing it in from the red side. Barry with a nice little kick. Ball and that's going to go upfield. He moves it off to uh, Salemhi as Rum tries to track down the ball. And Duquesne moving the ball back up on the f offensive half of the field is whew, quite the collision there as Nelson goes for the player. Yeah, the referee's going to say it was his leg. That's going to go Duquesne's favor. And that'll be a yellow that'll card. That'll be a yellow card. Wow. Fortunately, we only have a few minutes left in this game, but uh, interesting call there by the ref. Haven't seen that all game, and uh, interesting that he tried decided to call that now. As yeah, we Nelson, see Duquesne looking to capitalize on this. Nelson wasn't very happy with the call, but Bryce Card next to him said, it's okay, it's okay. Just just need to relax and calm down. Going. Just like he told his other teammates when they went to get the personal change and slow the game down. Kirk really displaying some leadership here. As he's uh, been a rock back on defense and has yet to come off the field. Just, just really maintaining a calm possessive 
uh, control over the ball and just helping out his teammates. A straight 90 minutes from uh, Bryce Kirk. Well, with a little break in between for intermission. But other than that, he's, he hasn't left the field. And he's always around the ball. He's always somewhere in the offensive zone, the defensive zone. And I don't think you can ask any, anything more from a player like Emergent Bryce player for sure. Like you said, future's bright. Collision there. Not sure what happened. There's a couple bodies around, including Rum. As the player was slow to get up, I think the referee blew it dead there. Some change here. Possibly. RMU player is not too happy with, uh, with the whistle there. A couple bodies, like we said, including Garini and Rum. The crowd getting back into it. Ball gets sent in, bouncing off a couple headers. Ball works its way towards the net. Has a nice play there from Nelson to get it out. Ball See still RMU looking around. to clear. Ball bounce back and forth here. No one's going to go off to the sideline. Not sure whose ball that is. Point in both directions. It's going to be RMU's. So you see Sam Bartley, number 25, a freshman, one of the center mids, getting his first action in the game and now exiting the field just for some defensive help there. And we'll see RMU throw this ball in. And we got a, another chant for a crowd favorite, number 15, Nolan Brossar. So that ball gets sent, and that's going to be whistled dead. RMU's ball still as it exit play. Rounding out the last couple minutes here at the North Athletic Complex, RMU leading 2-1 to one off of goals of Mason Miller and then the second goal off a penalty kick from Colin Garini. Quite the game here so far, though. Back and forth for sure. So we've seen RMU definitely dominate this end of the second half. But Duquesne coming out strong at both the beginning of the first half as RMU actually looks to put on some pressure here. As, uh, ball will go off of the Duquesne player as uh, Nolan uh, looks to throw it in here. Just a little over a minute remaining according to scheduled time. We won't see if the referee will put any extra time or not to be decided going forward here. But RMU still holding on to a 2-1 to one lead in their offensive zone. Heavy pressure as Damon battling for it and just try to keep his Nice ball. ball possession out Manningham 2-1. to one. Is he uh, still maintaining control of the ball, actually? Down there also to help is fan favorite Croucher. No sense to the netminders. RMU's telling everyone to get back in the dying seconds here of the game. Duquesne finally looking like they have some sense of urgency here. As uh, they clear the ball all the way up field, as Suriello has a nice header to get the ball up, as well as uh, number 21 here, Thomas. Veteran leaders showing some leadership here. Working his way up is Catanzaro. Wisely just plays it off to the side. As the kick here from Garini gets sent right into the trees. And almost he will the also line. send that out of bounds. Not sure where the fair catch was on that one, but he too is uh, might not be in the right sport here. Just a little bit towards the parking lot. No one's car was hit, so it's okay, but it did hit the tree. Off a couple heads here at midfield. Working their way in. Nelson with a nice clear up the field. Thomas on the attack. Good attack by Thomas there, even late in the game. Just smart plays. Duquesne looks to defend here. It's Catanzaro just plays it down into the corner. Not sure what the deal. result of that was. I believe it's going to be Duquesne's ball as they uh, give the ball back to the keeper there. As we hit stoppage time from the referee and extra minutes added on to the 90 minutes, is Duquesne. This is whistled dead. Not sure the call exactly here. Another whistle here. Not sure what's going on. Trying to figure out, I guess, where the ball is and whose ball it is. And I think it's going to be RMU's ball. It'll be Komarowski and Dalton, along with uh, Bryce Kirk. Sir Cielo. As Bryce Kirk, again, with the big foot, looking to clear it up forward. Just a nice pass to Komarowski, and he... Katanzaro shot, kept by the keeper. So now he's going to send this one up, a booming kick. Really showing off the leg here late, I guess. Dalton's going to exit his crease, and he's going to hold that one up. Again, aggressive play from Dalton. Is, ooh, number 12 in blue, and uh, an RMU player exchanged some words here. Dalton uses his leg now and sends that one away towards the RMU bench, and that's going to do it. That's going to do it. That's going to be an RMU victory to start the season. What a game.
Beautiful 2-1 to -one victory for the Colonials. As it all started off with a Duquesne goal from number nine, Aaron Brown, immediately capitalized by Mason Miller in the dying seconds of the first half. And then a penalty kick taken advantage of by number 10, Colin Guarini. And it'll be a 2-1 to -one victory for the Colonials here today at the North Athletic Complex. And what a game it was. Started really well down. played by RMU. And like you said, started off down and just worked their way back. And uh, future's looking bright for RMU club soccer. I mean, we got some, some freshmen that really made an impact with Rum and uh, Kirk making an impact too. Uh, just future's looking bright for sure. Let's give each one of ours the MVP of the game. For me, I'm going to give it to Colin Greeny. In the dying seconds of the game, gets the penalty kick, stays calm under pressure, and puts it home to get RMU the win. I, I definitely think you have to give it to Colin Greeny here. Absolutely. I mean, Greeny played great. I, I'm going to probably go with uh, with Kirk. I'm going to go with Bryce Kirk having just he, he not going out at all at any point in the game, looking super solid on defense with him and Suriel Suriello just really making some great plays back on defense, looking calm and possessed with the ball, and Kirk stepping up and taking multiple throw-ins, multiple kicks, just really overall great game. Although i got to give a shout-out to Rum, too, making yeah. an impact in his first game as a freshman. Absolutely. All around a great effort as we're going to wrap things up here from the North Athletic Complex. As the second game between RMU and IUP women's will be made on a separate stream going up in about 10 minutes, so stay tuned for that. But as for us here, Garrett Walker, Caden McCrory saying so long for our first game here. RMU 2, Duquesne 1. We'll see you in a couple minutes.